Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Danielle, just in case you didn't know. It's now the name of the channel, so, you know, pretty hard to miss. Anyway, uh, today's video is a haul. I know I do them a lot, but I buy a lot of stuff, so I'm just going to get into it. Um, as the title states, this is probably the most boring plus size haul ever. It's just full of basics and other random boring stuff that I need to buy this week. So, uh, I'm just going to randomly grab stuff from the pile beside me and we'll get into it. And I will try to be as quick as possible so we're not sitting here all day. Uh, one thing to note, I did get my hair cut. Uh, I got about four or five inches taken off. And the ends were really gross and they just needed it and I'm loving it. The day after it kind of felt super short. Uh, but then, you know, got used to it. Anyway, moving on. Okay, first things first. I bought a pillow. My pillows have basically deflated and don't, like, stay their shape anymore. And, uh, so I bought a new pillow. I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one or not, but I'm going to use it. Next up is these dog treats. These are the Grumps Natural uh, Sweet Potato Chews. Basically, they're like dehydrated sweet potato. Uh, that's all that's in it, and my dog loves them. My brother's dog acts like they are crack, and just would eat the whole bag in a day if I let them. They get so pumped, it is the best reaction. And I got these on Amazon. I got a larger bag because they were cheaper. Um, these are quite expensive, like $12 or something like that for the bag. And they could eat these in a week, so you gotta ration them. Also, on the dog front, I bought ice cream. So, this is an ice cream cone, and this is an ice cream sandwich. They're squeaky toys. My dog destroys toys in minutes if I'm not careful so I buy the cheapest ones I can because even the tough ones don't keep her and so I just buy cheap ones she destroys them I clean up all the fluff and we move on all right now on to some beauty items before we get to the clothes I got some shampoo uh, I bought some L'Oreal uh, co-wash I hated it my hair was greasy for like three weeks while I was trying it and it felt disgusting so, I picked up this Garnier Grow Strong uh, Fortifying Shampoo. It smells like apples. It's delicious. My hair needs all the strength it can get. And so, yeah. I also ran out of micellar water or makeup remover, whatever. I had one in like a, from Marcel in a pump. And I've emptied that now. It's like bone dry. So I picked up this simple Sensitive Skin Expert uh, Cleansing Micellar Water. I've never used this before. I don't know how good it'll be. I plan to just pour this into the pumpy thing um, because that thing is really helpful and I end up not spilling it everywhere that way. So, yep. We'll see how that goes. On to a couple things from Sephora. This is a Sephora favorites bag and it's Summer Hair Saviors. So, there is quite generous samples of, let me list them off here, the Christoph Robin Cleansing Purifying Scrub with Sea Salt, Alterna Healthcare Caviar CC Cream, which I love, uh, the IGK Rich Kid Coconut Oil Gel, Verb, uh, ghost Oil, Brew Geo Don't Despair Repair Deep Conditioning Mask, Living Proof Perfect Hair Day, In Shower uh, Styler, I have to sneeze, uh, Diva Curl we Wave Maker, Touchable Texture Whip, Whey Dry Shampoo Foam, Moroccan Oil 
Moroccan Oil Treatment, Bumble and Bumble BB Don't Blow It for Fine Hair, uh, Dry Bar, Triple Sec 3-in-1, and the Invisibobble, uh, the Invisible Traceless Ring in Crystal Clear. I don't know. I've tried the Invisibobbles already, and frig, those things will change your life. I didn't realize how, like, I thought they were so stupid, but... Yeah, they're friggin' awesome, and they don't hurt my hair, which is even better. The only thing is, is I don't really want to pay so much for a hair elastic, but they're amazing. So, I kept one in my purse. Um, anyway, moving on. I also got the Milk Makeup. This is the Cooling Water Moisturizer. So you just like, all over your face, and it's supposed to moisturize you. I don't know why I'm losing my voice. I'm sorry. Actually, I'm not sorry. I don't have any control over this. I think I might be getting sick. Um, anyway, so I haven't even opened this yet. We'll see how this works. It looks cool. If it works, I might try, like, the matcha toner and the matcha cleanser. I don't know. Alright. On to some ASOS things. I'm already at seven minutes. Jesus. Okay. Um, well, I seem to be missing a bag, I think. Anyway, I, uh, I bought some rings. I'm not even going to take them out. I bought two sets of rings. I don't know where the other one is. That happened. Also, I bought these shorts. They are, like, um, culotte shorts. So, oh, this is the, this is the front. Okay, so they have, like, pleats in on them no is it the back oh I can't friggin tell okay front again they have pleats on the front they are actually quite short when that covers my butt they're going to be like short shorts I haven't tried them on yet um these will probably be like a I wear them once and never again because I feel naked kind of piece of clothing but if anything, they'll be good for wearing around my house. They weren't that expensive, so I'm not worried. Plus, it costs a damn fortune to send stuff back to ASOS. So you get it right, or you don't buy from them at all. Next thing, I bought some underwear. I bought three other pairs, um, but I've worn them already. So, this is what you're seeing. These are just basic cotton underwear. It's hot. I don't want to wear, like, nylon-y, silky underwear on my butt when they make my butt crack sweat. So, I got cotton ones, so it can be cool and breezy down there. Now on to the really boring stuff that you're not going to be able to tell what the hell it is. So, these are work pants. Yes, they're giant size. I got them in a 6X, I think. I don't actually need them in that size, but I got them that big so they would go over my tummy and they're still too big. But, uh, these ones are like a straight leg or boot cut or something like that, and, um, I needed them to be long enough to go to the floor. Uh, I recently started doing a temp job, and I need office clothes. I honestly didn't have any. The pants I had were so old and, like, several sizes too small. Like, I haven't worked in an office proper for, like, three years, and... You know, it's, uh, it's uncomfortable to sit there in pants that are so small and so uncomfortable. Anyway, these ones stretch. I got them on the clearance rack at Pennington's, um, for, like, $10 or something like that. They were so on sale. They were $29.99 minus 40%. So you do the math. Like, $14? I don't know. I don't know. It's too early in the morning to do math. It's like 6 a.m. All right. These are not boring because I love them so much. These are culottes. They are like mid-calf. They have wicked awesome pockets and this like sewn on belt thingy that makes me look like I have style when I don't. I love these so much. That I went back yesterday and bought them in blue. Yeah, that's right. I bought the same pair of pants in blue. They still have the price tag on. They were originally five dollars, or not five dollars, 
$50. They're on sale for 30% off. And then I had one of the point coupons from Pennington's for $15 off. So I think I got a pretty good deal. I also have these work pants, which you're not going to be able to see any difference from the other ones. These ones are wide leg, and they have like real pockets that don't zip up on the front. I really like these. They're going to be hot in summer though because they're quite thick. But frig, they're comfy and they go over my tummy and they go to the floor and they don't write up. All the things I need in pants. Now, this is probably inside out because, oh, this is not the right shirt. Okay. Um, this is definitely inside out. Alright, this t-shirt here is a v-neck and it is the relaxed fit um, from Pennington's. So I bought three of these this week. Uh, they're on sale for buy one get two free. I got two free. It made me very happy. But the problem is, as I bought this one, then I bought one in a darker blue and a lilac color. I wore the lilac one yesterday and I dropped ketchup on it in the morning while I was in my car. And that just starts your day off not so great when you have to go into the office and see people. I covered it up with my name tag all day, uh, and which was okay for the most part. And um, then I went after work and bought a tank top to trade it because I had to go out later and I couldn't go home. So I then got two more free shirts but I didn't want to actually pick them out, so I just told them to donate the two free shirts, which they're going to do for me. I don't even have to take them to wherever they're donating them, um, which will be nice. So I did a little bit of good with my free shirts, because uh, nobody needs six new shirts in a week, unless you lost all of your clothes somehow. Like, nobody needs that. Uh, thank you all for watching. I'm really sorry about the prolonged absence on my channel. I know it's been a few weeks since I've uploaded anything. I started this job like a week ago and before that I had, we had some medical things going on in my family and like there was just no possibility to upload a video. I, I didn't have any ideas and my brain just was not, you know, there. But now I'm back at it. I'm going to try and film a bunch of videos today and get them uploaded and scheduled so they can just come out and I don't have to worry about it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!